Hello. You know what? <laughs> You're funny. So I'm here to talk about a topic that's like a topic to talk about. So we're going to talk about, which is really interesting, unmasking and masking, which also is in this video, Masking Assembly Dissociative Identity Disorder is the name of the title. So, everyone in the world masks, and, like, everyone puts on a front, you want to call it being a fake bitch, whatever. Everyone talks shit, everybody hates on each other, everyone's fucking racist, everyone's fucking prejudiced. If you're not, you're a fucking liar. Everybody has something wrong with them at the end of the day, whether you want to be honest with yourself or not. Exactly, right? Right, I told you that. She knew that, I know, right? Yeah. So... We're just going to ramble on and just, there's nothing, I have nothing written down except for the title. Other than that, that's it. We're just going to talk naturally. Because I'm out. I am con, con, I am actually co-con with Rose. So if you hear some Scottish, British slang, that's Rose fronting and trying to like squeeze her little redheaded self up in the front. So, I'm Cassie. Hi, by the way. I'm the protective person of this body and this system. And I'm not a feminist. I'm not a dyke. But I, I will say, those acronyms, I kind of live by, but without being a dyke or a feminist, if that makes any sense. For example, I'm okay being single. It's not that I can't get a man. It's not that I can't be faithful. It's not that I don't want to commit. We're fat, this body's ugly that we have to live in, it's freaking horrid, it's disgusting, and we need to lose weight. Meaning me is Cassie, this body is disgusting, and we need to take control, because if not, it's just going to get worse. And you'll be on a show of my 600 pound life, and dying. Um, Me personally, like... I guess people say I talk like Queens, Brooklyn, Italian accent, Jewish accent. Look, I don't care what your race is and what your religion is. If you grow up in Brooklyn or Queens, you're going to have a freaking accent. No matter what your race is or religion, you're going to talk like you're from Queens or Brooklyn. Or New York City in general. Or Boston or Jersey. Whatever. So, long story short. Hi, little Snow White and Belle. Hi, Ariel. What's up? So, let's just make this clear. The littles, and this has nothing to do with, like, the D D L G community or ABDL, even though some of our littles and some of the altars and the host who runs the channel or who's in charge of this body, she likes being an adult baby. She identifies as an adult baby. I personally don't, but the one who's inside this body identifies as an adult baby. I think her name might be Princess, who runs the YouTube channel here. But me personally, as Cassie, nah. Not my thing. I would rather get a facial, go out clubbing and dancing. It's not about banging dudes and drinking. It's not even like that. It's more like, I miss having freedom. I miss being out the most. I miss taking care of this body and having control. I miss feeling sexy. I miss feeling confident. I miss being valid. And I miss being just controlled. Like, I can eat salad when I want. I can have wonton soup once a day. We were on a strict 600 calorie diet plan. We used to exercise and dance a lot. We used to go clubbing a lot. We went to school in... You know, New Pulse, New York. We had a great life. And then the body that you see in front of you, which is not me, obviously. They lost their mother. And this body has been fucked up and disheveled and look for shuffled. And we need to take control of that because we're not put putting up with it. Like, my hair, I mean, the hair is long on this body. 
It's not short, so it's green. And all of us are blonde except for Rose. Rose has like a number six R light Auburn. And she is like a natural redhead with like a little bit of freckles and green eyes. She's really pretty. That's all she got going for her is her damn looks. That's about, that's Rose. She has another ulcer that's living in this body that you see. If you haven't, supposedly, check out the playlist. There's a whole bunch of videos about dissociative identity or whatever. And DID or Meet the Ulcers. So, back to the conversation. Me, personally, it's hard to tell when you're masking and not masking. Because the world we live in does it 24-7. Like, if you're around these types of people, you talk and act like this. So if you're around those types of people, you talk and act like this. No one's really their true 100% self. You're posing or acting one way or another. So when people have DID, people automatically assume like, oh, you don't act like this or you act like from the movie Split or Glass, the movie. It's like, yo, shut up. Like, that has nothing to do with real people that have DID or people that have dissociative identity disorder, which is like the same thing, just a shorter acronym. So, stop referring to everyone in the collective system that we're all psychotic and screwed up and mentally ill. Some of us might be. Not all alters are violent. Maybe like one out of a hundred might be from that stupid movie. Other than that, we're regular people. We're more likely to hurt ourselves than to hurt somebody else. Alters are not violent people, and I'm speaking from our experience. All alters, alters are valid. In 1998, Walkins and Walkins decided to write a book, and it's in science and, and social studies that uh, Walkins and Walkins in 1998 wrote a book about alters, and each alter is a fragment of one person. Each alter is a different personality, a different memory, a different religion, a different skin color, a different eye color, a different gender. Every alter in the system is different. Every alter does not think the same, does not act the same, holds different trauma, holds different drama, holds... Some alters don't even hold trauma and abuse. Some alters just exist for the happy child moments, which is the littles. So, ugh, I gotta shut the coffee pot off. Like I was saying, I gotta shut the coffee pot off. Not all alters are, like, violent or aggressive or progressive or domineering. A lot of them got mental health issues and trauma and drama. So... I know I'm rambling on, not making any sounds, but I'm just talking about how we feel. So, I don't know. If you like this, thumbs it up or whatever. But, like, <laughs> we don't want to be with our body. Like, we're not... I'm okay. The body's mentally ill. The body's not well. But me, personally, as Cassie, I'm alright. Like, I don't know. Anyway... Dating is really difficult also when you have the social identity because you don't just date one person yet yeah, on the spectrum It looks like you're dating one person because we have to share the stupid body But like me personally, I don't want a boyfriend. I don't hate the guy. He's nice, but he's like got issues and it's like I'd rather just be by myself personally, but the stupid body is obsessed with him and then this body's got, like, codependency, daddy issues, and mentally ill, and he lost their mother. So, like, me personally, as Cassie, as a separate Ulta, and a different person, a different persona, I would rather just be by myself. Work out, dance, sing, maybe go to a coffee shop and have coffee, hang out with a bunch of nerds, relax, whatever. But... It's not about sex, it's not about drinking, not about party, and it's just about having my own personal freedom and to be able to come and go as I please without any repercussions or standards or actions or anything. So, but, you know, little Emmeline and little Emily, which was one alter, little Emmeline split in another alter, and supposedly, I hear this in the back of the forefront here, 
messages do leak out. Now it's true, when you have DID or dissociative identity disorder, DID is just a short term of an acronym of dissociative identity disorder, DID. So it is true. 97% out of 100, 97%, you don't remember anything. If the also wants to come out, for example, and spend money and really have a good amnesia and really take over, we won't remember a damn effing thing. Yeah, there'll be a receipt on the counter. There'll be toys. There'll be dolls sitting in the living room. How the hell they get there, I don't know. Until the person that is in this body wakes up and goes, Oh, shit. I spent $80 at Walmart on toys. Well, the body spent $80. Huh. You know what I mean? So it's kind of weird. And, um... It's like 2 in the morning, just let everybody know, on a Wednesday, and yeah, we're going live, and we let, apparently, the body here posted two days, two days, people, all those subscribers out there watching, we let you guys know two days in advance, and it's scheduled, we did it right, hopefully we have more than 10 people in the chat that want to talk to either me, maybe Rose, maybe Emily and Emily, whatever, Ooh, that stinks. So, yeah. Well, time to use the clutchy. Be right back. So, we just went back and took a massive poop out of the clutchy. So, yeah. So, yeah. Whatever. I'm out right now. You'll be okay. Look, Rose, just letting everybody know, Rose is in the forefront in the co-conscious thing, and she's, like, itching to make her own video right now, because she's like, everybody else gets to talk, we don't get to talk, blah, 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 but pfft, I'm out right now. Rose can sit back in the passenger seat and wait till I'm done. So, back to the conversation of masking and unmasking about having alters. Basically, anybody can front. Anybody can fake front, host, whatever you want to call it, uh, out. Those are like Ackerman words to use when you have a system. Like, oh, like right now, I'm Cassie, I'm out. We talk a little different with our accent, you hear it. And not all the time. Sometimes I don't talk like this. Sometimes I can talk like the body, the original body. Like, I can use their voice. See, that's the thing about having uh, DIT. A lot of people think, oh, well, if you don't talk like having a different accent or you don't speak a different language or you don't look and dress different, you don't have DID. No, motherfucker, that's not true, douchebag. Yes, majority of the time we talk different. Majority of the time we can act and dress differently when we have full control of the body. If we don't and we're like basically like when you're in a car and you're driving... Let's say you're sitting in the passenger seat. You know where you're going, right? You know where you're driving, right? You feel which way the car's going, right? You can make a right or left-hand turn in a car, right? But guess what? You have no control. Because the driver is driving. You may see where you're going. You may feel which way the car's going. But you have no control which way the car goes. Unless the car makes a right or a left. That's the only way you're going to be going. But you can still see where the hell they're going. That's how it feels when you're in a system. Collect a system in this body. So... That's how it feels when alters come out or take over or front or come out as the host. And a lot of alters, including myself, I have used this body multiple times. We have done shit in the past that we regret. It is what it is. And whatever. Um, I think everybody has a secret in their door. The secret garden. Flowers in the attic. So, the Diary of Anne Frank. So, yeah, like, all I'm saying is that anybody can front or come out as the host or act like the voice of this body, which everyone says that this body sounds like a gay man. This body looks like they're 45. Let me tell you something. Let you say that shit to my face. Woo, would not be pretty. Let me tell you, honey. It ain't cool. Because guess what? If we was 45, I'm going to be bluntly honest. I think we look pretty good for 45 years old. Shit. I don't think I look that bad. But guess what? We're not. And if I was born a man, I think I look pretty good for a tranny. I've seen some worse wacko weirdos that are non-binary walking in a woman's bathroom with a 5 o'clock shower on a freaking boner. 
That shit's nasty. That's disgusting, but that's a whole other freaking topic. So, yeah, it, you know, you kind of have alters who are trans. You can have alters who are gay, black, white, biracial. You can have alters that are dead. You can have alters that are ghosts. You can have an alter that splits from another one who is dead. Because we feel our mother in this body. And that's all of us talking. Even myself as Cassie. Like, I know who she is. I met the woman. I seen the lady. And she's nice. But she is really not happy that people are taking advantage of her daughter. And being rude to her daughter. And not helping her daughter. And when it comes to boyfriends, friends, aunts. Uh, people live freaking three blocks away. If she comes out, that ain't good. So, our mother's inside of us, and she is really unhappy. She has a lot of shit to say to our aunt, which is her sister. She has a lot of stuff that she wants to say to her husband, B.O.B. She has a lot of stuff because she is not happy, and she will come out. So, love you all. Take care. If you like this video, thumbs it up. It's a Wednesday, 2 o'clock in the morning, having coffee or whatever. It's great. And, uh, yeah, we stay tuned for later on tonight, 7 o'clock at night. Uh, we'll be going live, but we don't have to say nothing because it's already scheduled. So, we're hoping that this video gets everyone's attention and knows more about our channel. And... You can rewind this video again and listen to it again from the beginning. Because we talk about our littles. We talk about the body. Unmasking, masking, alter switching. Who's out, who's not. We did a little bit of everything just now, which is great. So, whether it made sense or not, I'm sorry. But just, you can watch it again. I would recommend you. If you can't comprehend this the first time, listen to it twice. And I'm in a couple of shorts, by the way. So check them out. It's pretty cool. So, yeah. Um... I don't know. I'm not even tired. That's the sad part. Not at all. I don't know. Sometimes I just want to lock ourselves away in a psychiatric asylum and just, like, give up the money, give up everything, and let the government just take control of the body and just... I ain't got to pay bills. We don't have to be an adult. We can just be... And we'll be fine. I don't know. It's kind of crazy. But. The mother will come out. And she is not happy. 